Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what do we got this week? Uh, Rory, this week I'm going to show you a feature called Code Places. Okay. Code Places. Yeah, it's about places in your code and getting to them quickly. Um, the way it works is uh, you've got to enable it. Uh, to do that, we can go into uh, the Code Rush menu here, uh, go into Options, type in Code Places, and uh, just make sure it's turned on right here in the quick setup. And uh, when you go over to navigation, there's this duplicate setting right there. Make sure it's enabled. One of those two you'll need to check. Um, and then uh, you've got some options within here on the page once you're here. Uh, whether you want to auto hide it, which I have turned on, you can set its font size. And whether you want to dock it to the left or right side. Um, and then whether you want to navigate when you double click or single click. So I've got options to set navigate on, on single click, put it on the left side. Um, and that's my font size. So now what I can do is if I'm in any class at all, let's say I'm looking for something, I just come over here and click on Show Code Places, and now I can see, oh, look, I'm in the Character Builder class, and I can go find Build Test Elf and get to that very quickly. Or that's build, nice. Yeah, Build Test Wizard, something along those lines. So I can it's kind do, of a condensed index of the class that you're in. Is it, sorry, is it the class or is it the file? It's the file. So, for example, let's let's go, let's go, I'm going to hit Tab to Next Reference here, jump to another file, come out over here, we'll take a look at it. These are my mod tests. And so you okay. see the different tests that are out here. Now I can come down to the end of this. Let's create a new, say we want to create a new test case here. Just a T for test case. There's my uh, test, new test class. Uh, I'll just call it secondary tests or something along those lines here. Sure. Let's say secondary tests like that. Uh, come back over here now. And now you can see here's my new piece right here. There's my one. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. I see that they look collapsible as well, so we can presumably condense those. Exactly. Yeah. There you if go. We, if we happen to have a lot of classes yeah. going on in a particular file. I know some legacy but code bases are a bit like that. Finding things becomes even easier there. Yeah, it's 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 pretty cool stuff. Somewhere in here, I was working on some stuff not too long ago. Let me see if I can go find this. I'm just jumping back uh, through my history. Wait, that looked familiar to me. No, no. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, I know where I can, how I can find it. I can go search for build test barbarian. There's where I was. I was here, writing some code that doesn't compile yet, right? And uh, and now if we come over here, actually, we come over. One of the options we can do is click on history right here. And so history talks to about what you've worked on recently within a oh, particular file, right? So if I can go to uh, I can go to some file that I've been working on for this. Let's take a look at this and see if it's, uh, I was working in this file actually yesterday. Let's see what uh, Code Places says with regard to history over here. And there we go. These are the ones that I was modifying right here. So, that is so useful. So uh, because, I mean, without the history turned on, there's a lot going on in that file. And you're, you're potentially yeah. scrolling up and down, even within the sort of index of it. But you're saying Code Places has been tracking what you've done recently. So you literally say, well, I don't want to see the stuff I haven't been working on. Because, right. you know, that's fine. I want to go back to what I was doing. You've got, what, two items there? That's fantastic. That, that really narrows the focus dead quick. Right, right, right. right. And if you I... know exactly what you were doing, and you can get back into the fray and, and continue fixing or building whatever it was you were doing. Right. Now that I've gone over here and cleared the dice, I've added a right line right here. We come over here. There it is right there. See it at the top of the history. So now I can go in there and find that, the, those pieces that I've been working on recently, right? Sure. Just quickly over here, you could, it's, a, it's a tap, and it's a click, and then it's a click on the piece you want to go to. Um, as well. Nice. Also, there's a global history as well, so we can see all the pieces. In fact, this is what I should have done to bring to go find that uh, test initiative class. That's the one. Remember, I was taking so long sure. to find it. Should have just come over yep. here, gone into global history, grabbed the piece I wanted, and you can take a look and see what what pieces I've been working on since uh, since I've been here. So kind of cool. Very nice. Yeah, that's great. Well, thanks very much, Mark. Um, I can see this open up all kinds of avenues. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.